So let's say uh, we set a test for a class and 17 of them passed the test out of a possible 20. Now we want to be able to write that as a percentage. So 17 out of 20 as a fraction is like that, okay? Now, there are a few different ways that you could convert this into a percentage. You could do it the route that I've described in the previous video, where you would do the top divided by the bottom. So, 17 divided by 20. So, 20 is into 17 goes 0, with 17 left over. So, 20 is into 170 go 8, with 10 left over. And 20 is into 100 go 5. So this is 0.85, which would be 85%, okay, multiplying by 100. So you could do it that way, and that's a perfectly valid way of doing it by hand. Um, if you wanted to do it another way, you might spot that you could write this as something over 100 using our equivalent fractions, okay, so... If you want to mem uh, remember what, how we did equivalent fractions, then look back at the video for it. Times in the bottom by 5, we could also times the top by 5. And 17 lots of 5 is 50 plus 35, which makes the 85. Which is 85%. Okay? So, in that way, um, we've shown that you could do it either way. Obviously this method only works if that denominator is a number that could be easily multiplied to get to 100. But this method will work every time. Now let's say that that is class uh, A. Okay, so 17 out of 20 passed, and we worked out that that was 85%. This is class A. Now for class B, let's say that 18 pass out of 21. So 18 pass out of 21 people in the class. Now we need to work out what 18 over 21 is as a percentage. Now these are um, aren't particularly nice numbers to work with and so we would preferably use a calculator. Using the power of editing technique the calculator suddenly arrives and <laughs> what we have now is that we've got 18 over 21 so we can do 18 divided by 21 on the calculator so top divided by bottom and then if your calculator has it uh, there's an SD button which will convert it into a percentage so this is 85.714% Okay, so this is 85.7% to one decimal place. So you can do top divided by bottom and then multiply by 100 to turn it into the percentage. So that's class B. So what this shows is that if you had two classes um, where the number of people in each class is different, so the first class had 20, the second class had 21, then if you convert the achievement into a percentage, then you can compare how well one class did in comparison to the other. So it allows you to make this comparison, which is really what is very useful. Okay, so let's say that there was another class, class C, and let's say this one um, managed to get. Um, it was a large, much, much larger class, so you could have one of those online classes, for example. 
and let's say it got uh, 83 passes out of a possible 95. And we wanted to know if the online class had done better than either of the two normal size classes, okay? Teacher-led classes. So we're going to do 83 over 95 as a fraction. We want to turn that into a percentage. So we do top divided by bottom on our calculator, 83 divided by 95, and then times that by 100. And what we find is that we get 87.4% to one decimal place. So in this case, we can see that the larger class, online class, has done slightly better than either of the two smaller classes. Okay? So this is how you could compare uh, quantities like this. Okay? So quantities out of different size classes.